large caps leading the way like they have right. for so long right now. Yeah. Does that trend continue this year? Well, um, we, we think they're going to be um, a lot of large cap companies that will benefit this year. Um, you know, our little group's up uh, about 5.9 percent year to date um, on entrepreneurial large caps. But um, we think those indices that heavy that are heavyweight, Microsoft and Apple, will suffer relative to others. So last year, Microsoft and Apple, representing about 16.6 percent of the Russell 1000 growth, uh, kind of drove much of the market. We think this year it's U.S. small caps, non-U.S. small caps. U.S. small caps have been on a tear since October, since we, we, we met last October. They've been up 16 percent. Non-U.S. small caps leader last month, 5.3 percent. Um, year to date, our entrepreneurial small caps uh, are up about 3.8 percent. So, so I, I, I buy that because we watched those small caps yeah. play catch up at the end of last year. But right. then to start this year, they're starting yeah. to falter yet again. Yeah. What's going on? What does it need? What, what does the market need to see from small caps to get them to really start that trend higher? Well, uh, you know, again, I mean, we, we're not seeing it in the entrepreneurial space, right? We're seeing you know strong growth. I mean, they're up almost four percent for non-U.S. They're up above almost five percent for U.S. small caps. So I think there's certain pockets that haven't caught up last for the last three years. We're seeing companies like that that are off 50, 60, 70 percent for the last three years, non-U.S. And U.S., you know, they're still coming, coming back. You know, um, many companies are still 20 percent below their all-time highs, it, all, even though the revenues and the profits are there. All right. Is it geographically focused, small caps elsewhere in the, outside the U.S., mm. or is it more industry focused? Is it tech, tech banks, biotech? Well, I mean, we're, we're seeing across all the areas. So we're seeing Swedish tech companies that are way up about 40 percent year to date. In some cases, we're seeing consumer discretionary. We haven't seen this in a while. U.K. companies. We're seeing, of course, China. China's been very strong year to date. I mean, coming out of the gate, you know, China's been the strongest country. It's up around 4 percent. But we're seeing global growth, a lot of uh, valuation plays, and a lot of uh, high growth. So it's a dual market.